everyone from Paris we made it to Paris it's actually a lot later already <laughs> we left this morning around 7 a.m. and now it's almost 6 p.m. but our train was delayed then we had some trouble getting into this apartment and then we just wanted some time to relax but I just got ready to go out to go to dinner so this is the makeup that I did it's just like a little blue situation i went with the blue look to go with the dress that i'm wearing i love this like late 60s early 70s biba-esque dress it's just so beautiful and we're about to go out to dinner now we might take a little walk or do a little something before grabbing dinner but i feel like today was so exhausting with traveling and everything. Like I said, we left at around 7 and we arrived at around 1 p.m. So it wasn't even that bad. But with getting here and the cleaning lady was still cleaning up, which I don't have any problem with, but it was way past the time that they said that the apartment was going to be ready. So we were just exhausted and like took some time to relax. I'm gonna show you the apartment tomorrow because I feel like it's gonna be a lot prettier with natural light because we actually have a lot of windows in here but we're gonna stay until sunday today is wednesday and yes i don't think we're gonna do a lot today besides going out for dinner so let's go i feel like the picture is gonna look weird because it's gonna look very angular but it's actually just because we're on the top floor so this is the roof but this is what i'm wearing i shortened this dress very badly this morning i just took some pins to pin it up because i didn't really like the original length but this is what i'm wearing to go out and we're gonna go and grab dinner now woke up from our first night in Paris it is so sunny and it's actually really really warm by the window so it's just such a nice and beautiful morning we want to go to the Louvre today so I'm gonna do my makeup and get ready for that and then we will also maybe have a picnic in the park at least that's what I want to do today and maybe just do some walking some shopping we actually walked eight kilometers yesterday which was a lot I was so exhausted last night it was also really beautiful. I'm gonna show you a little tour of the apartment now. Get ready and then we'll get going. So this is the little Airbnb that we're staying in. I love it. I think it is so cute. It has a little kitchen part over here with a clock that doesn't work, but never mind. A mirror, then this beautiful little wall with a sofa and a little coffee table, some storage. The bathroom is back there. I love this colorful wallpaper. It's not my style in particular, but I think it is very, very beautiful. This is the bed, and then we honestly have a really cool view. This might be a little controversial, but I actually really like the view. I don't know, this building over there isn't that pretty, but I feel like this one truly is. I really like staying in here. And we also have a little ceiling window, which I really love. It's beautiful, and it's very light in here. This is my look for you today. It's basically all hippie shade besides the tights and the shoes. So let me quickly show you. I hope you can see, I honestly love it.
we just left the Louvre. We actually had a beautiful time in there and now we came to this little park to just sit in the sunshine for a little. We actually walked a lot in there which was really exhausting but it was also beautiful. Highly recommend that. Plus, if you haven't heard about this before, if you're a European citizen under 25 you don't have to pay for admission at all. So that's really cool but such a beautiful and sunny day in this park. So it's quite a bit later now, it's already half past six and we're about to leave to go to a thermal bath basically with pregnancy and everything it's like the most comfortable thing for me currently to be in water. I've been going swimming two times a week and we found this really nice thermal bath and they have these like late night passes where basically you come after 7 p.m. and then you can stay until 11 p.m. which I figured sounded really great. So I'm just gonna take off my makeup. I actually brought some makeup wipes. I don't love to use them. I actually like to wash my face, but recently, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I have a lot of makeup products that aren't really removable with anything else than these makeup removal wipes. I have no idea, oh boy. <laughs> Does anyone else always look like that while doing this? But yes, I'm just gonna remove my makeup. I also changed into something a little more comfortable. I look so bad now, but don't worry. I will have this off in like just a little bit. I just wanna do that before going into the water because I don't wanna look like this all night. But I'm just gonna show you my outfit in a little second. And then I don't know if I'm gonna bring the camera. Maybe I'll just bring my phone, but I don't think I will film in there. I got all of my makeup off, my hair is a little messy this late, but I'm just wearing these two necklaces, a black turtleneck, some flares, and then basically that's it. I'm gonna put my big fur coat with this to stay nice and warm, and um, yeah, we're just gonna get going now, and I will talk to you later. Hello and good morning everyone. It is Friday, it's our second full day in Paris. I just got ready. I have these beautiful white earrings, the blue dress, but I'm also gonna show you the full look in a second. However, today we wanna go out for a brunch. It's a little later because we stayed out pretty late in the thermal bath yesterday. And then I also wanna go thrifting today, which I think I'm gonna put in an extra video because it might be too long to have it all in here. But other than that, we might want to go to the Notre Dame, maybe Père Lachaise, just kind of exploring the city a little more. I'm also bringing these sunglasses. It is so sunny and warm here. It's just the beautiful spring weather. I think when I put this outfit together originally, I was planning on wearing it with black tights. However, it is so nice, warm and sunny. I want to go with the white ones and the red shoes again. I feel like these go really well with the detailing in the dress. And I also don't want to wear a hat because it's just so warm and sunny out. We are staying in such a nice little Airbnb, but for some reason it's still a little bit under construction. I think they're modernizing this because all of the stairs are covered in foil. But I love this little handwriting. I think it's so beautiful with like the flower detailing. I hope you can hear you, but we came to this beautiful little French cafe place. I don't think we'll be able to get breakfast because it's already almost 1 p.m. But it's so nice. We're sitting outside because it's so warm and sunny and beautiful. just got done with a round of thrift shopping. Here's a little something that I got, a little sneak peek. And now we're walking over to Notre Dame. It's such a beautiful day. The weather is so nice. It's warm. It's just the perfect spring.
So apparently Notre Dame is still closed, it's still under construction back there. So we're just gonna go for a little walk. We came to this beautiful little area. Please don't mind how my hair is looking. It's so windy today. And we got some macarons, which we're gonna try now. And it's just such a beautiful, sunny day. Honestly, the sun makes me so happy today. Got a coffee, got the macarons, and now I'm just gonna try them. So this one is coffee flavored. <laughs> it's really good. Really, really nice coffee flavor. The lady working at the store told us so much about each flavor, but these are so, so good. Perfect little afternoon treat. Hello and good morning. It is Saturday today. I just had to think about this for a second. Does anyone else have that when you're on vacation? You can't really remember what day it is, but I feel like I need to update you real quick because I haven't really filmed in a while and I'm just about to get ready, currently getting ready for the day my, my skin is so dry and i feel like it's because in this apartment that's like the only little downside there are no regular heaters but just these like ones that you plug in and i feel like it makes the air pretty dry so i just put a lot of lotion moisturizer on my face to prep but i also am wearing this look which i feel like i haven't put this together like this i just brought the pieces separately but i really love how this dress is looking with the green collar so i'm just going to do that for today i'm actually always coming to a window when i do my makeup in apartments like this because the only real mirrors in here is like there's one big over there which is right back sided by the light and the other one is in our little bathroom which doesn't have a window at all however they had these decorative mirrors on the wall back there i just took one down and placed it here and so i can do my makeup while talking to you and sitting in front of a window and having like good lighting so yes yesterday we had a beautiful day at the le marais le marais part of the city it's like a little square kind of area and they have a lot of like art and craft stores there which i really like and a ton of thrift stores a lot of affordable ones too which i thought was really cool and i found some amazing things as said i'm gonna put up a separate video all about thrifting in paris because i feel like it's just going to be too much to put it all into this video however we just had a great time in that area it was such a lovely little neighborhood we had some food there as well and then just took a walk we also went by notre dame i feel like i filmed that but then my battery died but basically it burnt down <laughs> i feel like everyone heard about that and you're not able to visit it again yet so we couldn't really go in there or do anything there however it was just beautiful walking around the river and everything. We had some macarons. In general, had a really, really beautiful day there. And then we went back here, I think around like seven or something. And just kind of had a chill evening because I was just so done at that point. I was so, so tired. So today the weather actually isn't as beautiful as it was in the past couple of days. Just meaning that it doesn't seem or appear to be that sunny out today. I also hope you're not bothered by the sounds in the background. I think I showed you the apartment building yesterday, but basically they're kind of like renewing it and working on that all the time. It's a little loud in here. I think they stop around noon and don't start again until nine or something. At least when I woke up this morning at like eight, it was still quiet. I have my little compact mirror here, which I saw all of your comments about the what's in my bag video. That's coming soon. I just need to work on one idea after another, but I'm just going to do a little bit of makeup. I don't want to overdo it today. My bangs are looking not the best. I need to add some dry shampoo. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like whenever it's windy out, my hair does weird things. And I'm also very sure that I need to re-dye it in a little. I think I talked about this before. Basically, when I dyed it dark, it was all dark and it faded a little differently because I did a semi-permanent dye because it's not that damaging on your hair. And I don't mind like the way that it's naturally getting lighter. I just feel like it's getting so light at the bottom. I don't really love that look. So 
I'm just gonna go over that. I actually have some dye at home, I think, that I already bought for doing that. So I'm gonna attempt that in a little. So I'm just gonna finish getting ready now, then show you my outfit. And then today we actually have some really nice plants. This lady just came up right across the window. I feel like I showed you the view basically right across the building. There's another apartment. And I just looked over and she looked at me, that was weird. But today, <clears throat> as I said, we want to go to the Eiffel Tower and Arc de Triomphe and also Champs-Élysées. So that's kind of like the area that we want to stay in today. And then I feel like tomorrow we have to leave the apartment around 10 and then our train doesn't leave until 6 p.m. So we have quite some time there. And I feel like we are gonna go to the Père Lachaise tomorrow, visit Jim Morrison's grave and just hang around there a little. I feel like we just need to figure out our luggage situation first because we really wanna bring our luggage to the train station and then maybe we can just leave it there in a locker for the day and then pick it up when we have to go because we don't wanna run through the city all day with the luggage. We've actually been walking so much. I have been going from like, I think 12 to 18,000 steps a day, something around that. It's pretty much what we're doing currently. I think yesterday it was like nine kilometers. The day before that we were even above 11. And I am okay with doing that. Like I'm still feeling good doing that, but it's also very exhausting. So I don't want to run through the entire city tomorrow with my luggage. So yes, that's it on all the updates currently. I'm gonna finish getting ready, show you the look, and then we'll get going. I just got done getting ready. I did like a regular little makeup look, very quick and simple. I'm wearing these earrings, this little necklace, two rings. Let me get up and show you the entire outfit. So this blouse is hippie shake. It's so, so beautiful. Then I'm wearing this fake suede dress, black tights. I'm gonna put some black boots with it and my fur coat and that's basically it. I should wait. Generally, I feel like this is prettier in the summer because currently all the grass is walked down. But they have these really cool flowers over here. I really like. I don't know. They just look so fun. And then over there are all the buildings. It's actually a really nice area. Kind of reminds me of the Central Park. Through the winter, hanging on. We can weather through the storm. back at our apartment now i feel like this is the only angle where the lighting doesn't look terrible i am so tired it's like 8 p.m but i wanted to tell you a little bit about the day so basically we went out to lunch to this place on champs Elysees, which is like this very high-end street in paris and it was so weird because they didn't really have anything vegetarian on the menu so i just went with a salad and some fries other than us i believe everyone in that store or restaurant was american so that was pretty fun however they forgot my salad and so i just had like fries which was okay and then i just had a salad somewhere else later but that was kind of weird i wanted to film that but it was so crowded in there i kind of felt a little awkward about it and then we went down Champs Elysees, did some window shopping, some real shopping, and we actually bought something for the baby, which I quickly wanted to share with you. I just am so tired right now, I feel like I can't move. We also just brought back food here. I still have like a carrot salad. I've been really craving carrot salad lately. No idea why, and just some other things to have 
in here because I don't want to go out again tonight and it definitely was a long day but most people here are very accommodating as soon as people see that I'm pregnant they're like so nice and they just always get you seated first and everything which is really really kind but I crossed my 35 week mark yesterday which means I am just very heavily pregnant right now and I just can't do like a lot of walking I mean we walk 10 kilometers a day which I feel like for me that's not that much for some people it might be but it was okay but then the the thing that always takes me out is that this apartment is on the fourth floor without an elevator so getting up here is just so hard for me right now but I'm gonna stop talking now and show you what I got because it's just so cute okay please ignore the lighting it's terrible we went to this store, Petit Plateau. I know this because I, f I think my mom used to shop there for me. I have no idea. Basically, it's like a little more expensive, but not crazy. So this was 45 euros, which I think is okay. We got a lot of things for the baby pre-use, but this was just so cute and we wanted him to have something special. So we picked up these incredibly cute little overalls. They're striped and just so, so dang cute. They have like little pockets in the bag and the little ship right here. And we got this in a six month size, so it's like a little bigger. I just love this. I hope he can wear it for such a long time and he needs to pass this down to the next baby because it's just so cute. And I honestly love this. He will be six months in October, so I feel like this would be so cute with like some white tights and just a little top underneath. I feel like that would be so cute. It's such a cute 1960s style outfit piece that I really love. So I'm really glad that we got this for him. Other than that, we don't plan on doing anything else tonight. As said, it's late. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to Pelachez where I'm definitely gonna take you along. I hope this isn't a very boring video. I have no idea how much I'm filming. I feel like I'm not filming that much but then on the other hand I don't want to <laughs> film when I don't feel comfortable doing that so yes and we went like to a couple of really cool places today but we're gonna visit Jim Morrison's grave tomorrow and then also just a few other places I maybe want to go to a few more thrift shops again or just like stroll around the city we'll see we also really wanted to go on a boat and like do a little boat tour of the Seine however we need to figure out if we can actually do that because tomorrow, as said, is our last day. And so we just have to see how timing works out because we have to catch our train at around like 6 p.m., I believe. So I'm gonna see you tomorrow, take you through the day of our last Paris adventure. And um, yeah, till then. Hello and good morning. It's our final day in Paris, we're leaving tonight. I quickly wanted to show you my outfit before we we'll get going because we actually need to leave the apartment right now, but I went with these earrings, a little hat. I feel like I put together all these outfits and then just decided to go with something different. But today I'm wearing this little necktie and a necklace that I love. And then this bracelet bangle thing, some rings. And with this, I'm just gonna put my black boots and my fur coat and then that's it. So we will go to the train station now and then leave our luggage there and then go to Pelachez and visit Jim Morrison's grave. And other than that, we don't really know what we're gonna do today, so I'll just take you along. It's our last day and we actually finished the floor. It's so beautiful. It's such a nice little apartment and apartment building. It's a little dark in here, but we came to the most beautiful breakfast place. Like, all of the art is so beautiful. It's not like an actual breakfast place, but they have breakfast till noon, which I really love. I need to just show you the exterior and interior. It's such a beautiful, artsy style. I just love this. In Germany, we call this Jugendstil. I don't know what you call it in English, but it's just so beautiful with all the stained glasses and everything. And we are gonna go and check out some breakfast. This is the place if you're wondering if you ever come to Paris. Check this out. Can't say anything about the food yet. We 
just finished our breakfast in that lovely little cafe over there and now we made it to Père Lachaise, the big graveyard. So if you come here and you're looking for the grave, there are maps. It's Division 6 and you're looking for grave number 30. So we are gonna look for that now and see if we can find it. But it's such a beautiful graveyard. It's beautiful to take a walk up here. It's free, you don't have to pay admission or anything. So I definitely recommend you to do this if you're ever in Paris. So we just went and visited the grave. You actually can't go like right to the grave because I bet there are just too many people going there every day. It wasn't that crowded when we were there. It's actually a really nice graveyard, but they overdid it. Like they overdid his tomb a while back. I'm gonna try to find some pictures and just put them up here. However, it's a beautiful graveyard in general and there were like a lot of flowers on his grave, which I think is beautiful. And now we're just walking back to the train station. Yeah. 